Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about this whole Love & Hip Hop Hollywood situation. Even though I'm not recapping those shows anymore, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to know my opinion on everything that's been going down, okay? So if you guys do not know, Summer Bunny has made an appearance on the show. For those of y'all who have forgotten who Summer Bunny is, she's the one who was caught sleeping with Offset and Cardi B and Offset were going to break up behind her. It was a bunch of mess. She went on that whole bowl tour crying and carrying on, claiming that she was really apologetic and she was sorry only to take the apology back, okay? And then turn into a damn clout chaser. So y'all go ahead and check out this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. And uh, I'm not here to uh, break up our family or mess up what she has going on um, with our husband. And um, I'm very sorry that this was this has happened. And I'm very sorry that I didn't think about my worth as a young lady. Um, she can overcome this, and um, I know that her and Offset actually do have love for each other. Who in the entertainment industry has actually like stood by your side? Nobody. Wow. My feelings be hurt. It sucks. <laughs> no, it just sucks. Like it's not fair to me. It's really not. You but feel outcasted? Cool. You feel blackballed? I just feel like you know, like the whole world is against me. But it's like I always believe. Like I'm, I'm, I'm so strong. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Summer Bunny a few months ago. So what's going down is this. Um, we had heard, you know, rumors initially that she was going to be on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, and she did make her debut, you know what I'm saying, about two weeks ago. But before all of that, we're going to go ahead and, uh, what? Rewind that shit back, bitch, okay? <laughs> Three months ago, Summer Bunny was on social media. She took to her Instagram stories, and she literally wrote an entire book. Yeah, she was in her damn feelings, okay? She was upset because she had gotten into a physical altercation with Lyrica Anderson, who is A1 Bentley's wife, okay? And at that point, there were rumors that Lyrica was going to be kicked off the show because she beat the shit out of Summer Bunny. And Summer Bunny went on there and she was cussing out Lyrica. She was talking about A1 Bentley's down low, he's gay. She was dragging Jason Lee. It was a big old mess, honey. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys her Instagram stories. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. First of all, A1. Didn't you just see him? Uh, you called me last night. Didn't you say you just see him? Let's post. On? Let me tell you. Let me show y'all this. Didn't, he, didn't you just see A1, him? A1, that was 327 last night. This you morning, me right? Sir, when I was in New York, you called me and said the bitch, the bitch ass nigga just hit you up last night, right? Period. So what's T? As you can see, then multiple times you? that we've met up, multiple times. And don't make me get very, very in-depth because I will. But see, I always, I'm going to save this. So if you drag me one more time, I will expose everything. And see, I never want to go far and beyond and just keep on just warning this shit like that. But for you to go in there and to say, like, oh, and you don't know who I am, you just called me last night twice. Girl. Does Lyrica know that? Lyrica, and I'm a group and I'm a clout chaser, but you were trying to figure out who I was. For like three weeks straight calling Black China calling Antonio. Speak up, baby. I know I'm cute. Yes, sir. Fine, sir. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
they bad, they want to see the ass. They like the asses. They like the asses. Yeah, and it probably hurt your feelings because you're 39 and I'm 21. You're tired of that pussy, sir. <laughs> tired, of that that tired, pussy. Of, tired of that old pussy. Tired of that old pussy, It's not that, sweet pussy, so all of He want that young old. pussy, sir. <laughs> we at the airport with it. What's that? <laughs> he want that young pussy, sir. Well, watch what you say. A1, because you know you called me twice. No, he don't want me to go. All right, so you guys just saw her Instagram story. She literally wrote a whole book, and I'm not reading none of that bullshit. I will not be Mother Goose, okay, for that bullshit. So anyhow, fast forward to this past week, okay? So the episode finally came on with Summer Bunny and Lyrica finally meeting up because Jason Lee got word on the street that A1 Bentley had been sleeping with Summer Bunny and that, you know, him being a, you know, news connoisseur, he had to put the news out there, but that he wanted to tell A1 Bentley first before he made it public on the blogs, okay? Because, you know, at the end of the day, you can be cool with these people, but Jason still has a damn check to get, okay? I hit up by this girl, and she's alleging you and some girl named Summer Bunny. Did you sleep with her or not? So he went ahead, he released the information, and so it's been a lot of conflict and drama. So once they got out there, Apple Watch was really pissed off, and Apple Watch was introduced to Summer Bunny via Yo-Yo, and can, can somebody raise their hand and tell me why the fuck Yo-Yo's on this show? Like, I just, I, I don't like when older women are on shows and they're trying to play the mentor role, but you're not giving solid advice. You're coddling and, and making excuses for bullshit, okay? I feel like as an older woman, you're supposed to want to see younger women do better. And all this coddling of Summer Bunny and making excuses for her fuckery, that's not what it is to be a mentor, okay? A mentor is going to tell you the truth and tell you, you know what, the ways that you're moving, the things that you're doing, it's not cool, okay? Now, Apple Watch, she went about it a different way. She just wanted to whoop Summer Bunny's ass and call her out. I'm not saying that that's the way either, but somebody needs to really sit down this young woman and talk to her in a motherly tone and really let her know that the moves that she's making is not okay. And I feel like Yo-Yo is just looking for screen time at this point. I'm not, I'm not really understanding, like, why she's there. But anyhow... Here goes the confrontation with Yo-Yo, Apple Watts, and Summer Bunny. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Oh, you mad? Because I'm the top bitch. Uh -huh. And your gave me on some top Who you know? I know the whole street. Nah. And when they see me, everybody want to know me. Okay. And let me check on that bitch Her time is up. I got to check for that bitch But the last time I heard, though, she was on the media trying to a my is you feeding her? Aww. I'm just playing though. But no, 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 this way though. But anyways, I done heard about you though. But oh, it's you nice know. to meet you in person. Nice I was looking at this black China wannabe, and I'm realizing in my head that I know this little bitch. Jason Lee just out of her for smashing Lyrica's husband, A1. So no, girl, I used to be at the strip club. Look. Oh, you what? Oh, my okay. Jesus. <laughs> but anyway, though, but it's all good. It's okay, all the nice hustle, baby. No, it's it's all about that hustle, yeah, though. You. And you know, so I don't weird. judge people. I don't you judge You should get people. to know me. I'm yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, but I'm still a real bitch. If something on my mind, I'm right. going to speak it. That's okay? Ooh, that's just the way I get down. I'm letting you know. I don't need you to let me Don't let nobody and bring tears to your eyes. Dry your tears. <laughs> <laughs> you cry baby ass. Oh, she cry crying. over some <laughs> that's really hurtful. You crying because you got in an argument with Apple. And now she and crying Apple cool she is a rubble, Lyrica. I feel bad when she started crying. I don't feel bad for no, like at the end of the day, you, you got enough bark, you gotta have that bite. All right, so you guys just saw that. Um, you guys just saw Apple Watch basically trying to take it for Lyrica and call out Summer Bunny on her damn, you know, hoeing ways and everything else. And then, of course, Summer Bunny is the victim. She ends up crying and boohooing on Yo-Yo's shoulder, okay? So then, later on, Yo-Yo decides to invite her to go and meet up to this event. Who walks in? None other than Ray J, Princess Love, Lyrica. Um, A1 Bentley's not there, but Lyrica's there. And so at that point, they decide to confront each other. You know, words are exchanged. You know, she goes off on Lyrica. She doesn't want to answer Lyrica's questions. Later on, you know, she decides to put on her big girl panties and go outside and tell Lyrica the truth as Lyrica is waiting for, I, honey, I don't know who she's waiting for. Mona Scott, a taxi driver, Uber driver. I don't know. She's just standing outside, okay? So, uh, you know, she comes out there to her. She has on damn bunny slippers and she, you know, tells her piece to Lyrica. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Okay, Lyrica. I'm gonna be woman enough to come and talk to you. I do want you to know that this is very, very hard for me to come and talk to you. I'm tired of people looking at me a certain way. I'm tired of people thinking I'm coming on to their husbands. 
So I want you to know the truth. I never came on to this A1. He came on to me. It's true. Me and A1 have had something. What's something? As in, we have had sex. I promised myself I would never be in this situation again with A1. I cannot believe that I'm here. When was and this? It was multiple times. Please understand how this feels on my end to come to you. Well, you knew he was married because we're publicly on well, a... he knows he's married too. So but why you is knew it he's always married. me? Well, why is it always me? It's not about you. You don't owe me why any loyalty. You don't owe me any loyalty. Exactly. He owes me loyalty. Okay, so then you take that and you go talk to him. Yeah, but I came to you as a woman and I let you know what he's been doing. Period. I don't understand where your defensive mechanism comes from. Because maybe because of about me. On you've never heard me that. out of my mouth talk about you. And at the end of the day, you don't have no loyalty. She not only has no real remorse, she's not sorry. She really doesn't give a f So at the end of the day, I don't really care to hear anything that this girl has to say anymore. You slept with my husband and didn't give a f You're lame. And so don't come over here telling Hopefully me I won't f him again. Good, bitch. Go f him again. Any damn ways. Y'all just watch that shit. I'm just sitting here like the attitude and the arrogance. You're literally admitting to fucking another woman's husband. Grant, he's to blame too, okay? Mr. A1 Bentley is not going to get off scot-free on this damn channel. Because that's his marriage. That's his wife that he's disrespecting. But you're the other woman. How are you going to admit to somebody that you're fucking their husband? And then you got the nerve to have an attitude and want to box and talk shit. Bitch, you should be humble right now. You're all the way in the wrong. You're disrespecting somebody's marriage. I mean, this is insane. This is the same girl who cries tattoo tears every other episode about how she wants people to look at her as a true musician. She wants folks to take her seriously. And then you're sitting here meeting and sleeping with somebody's husband and you got the nerve to be mad at the wife. Like, I don't, I, I will never understand side chicks in this mentality, okay? So, of course, after this aired, they took to social media, and this is what Lyrica had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So, Lyrica says, one of the best lessons you can learn in life is to master how to remain calm. So, that is what Lyrica Anderson wrote. And when you go to see what Summer Bunny has to say, her Instagram page is gone. So, she couldn't take the heat, so she got the hell up out the kitchen. She deleted her Instagram page. She'll be back in a week or so. You know, all these, you know, A, B, Z list celebrities, they do the same shit. As soon as they get involved in some fuckery, they delete their pages. Delete all that shit! Delete all that shit! Let's play with your pages! And then they come back a week later, you know, peeking behind doors and shit, trying to make sure it's safe. Bitch, we're still here. We still gonna drag you when you get back, okay? Don't come peeking behind the corner. Them, them people, they still gonna drag you because you wrong for that shit, Summer Bunny. You are wrong. This is not the first time. This is the second time, okay? And that's my issue with Summer Bunny is stop apologizing and stop saying that you're sorry and you want to turn over a new leaf when you're doing the same thing, okay? What she's doing at this point is insanity. You went through this with Offset and Cardi B. You went on this whole ball tour where you were crying and claiming you were sorry. Then you took back the apology. And then now you find yourself in the same situation, not even, you know, what? eight nine months later i'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. i don't so at this point it's insanity insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result and if you keep going around sleeping with other people's husbands boyfriends baby daddies or whatever and you're expecting them to love you make you their main chick it's not going to happen okay you need to learn to first respect yourself before any man will take you seriously and respect you okay you know so this entire situation is insane you know a1 bentley's all the way wrong for cheating on his wife but as the show went further along we found out that lyrica was also cheating okay Get to the details. What happened between you and this fraud? Last year. I'm asking out of your mouth what happened. Did you f or not? Yes. That, yes. That's what's up. How you saying that's what's up? Lyrica, you did the same. How you better than me? You cheated on me last year. Lyrica and I thought it'd be best to keep her infidelities on the low last year. I mean, it was a bad look for both of us, and I didn't want the public backlash. Lyrica was at high risk for her pregnancy, and I didn't want to stress her out any further. But the truth is, we both cheated on each other last year. And at this point, I'm kind of tired of Lyrica painting me out to be the bad guy when she was doing the same 
half of the pregnancy, I'm running around not knowing this baby mine. Imagine how I was feeling. You came back home and I tried to work it out and we renewed our vows and then you cheated after that. So it seems like these people, they just have a, you know, a, a big fracture and a big issue in their relationship. They're basically trying to hold on to this marriage slash situationship because it's not a relationship. It's a situationship. They're trying to hold on to this either for a storyline to remain on love and hip hop, you know, for their child. But they're not in this relationship for the right reasons. OK, the wife is stepping out. The husband is stepping out. I mean, all of this is a mess. And if she's going to be out here cheating, then what do you expect your husband to be out here doing? OK, you know, at some point in time, they're either going to have to really go and get counseling and decide, do they want to maintain this marriage or do they just want to go ahead and end it and go their separate ways? But all all this wishy-washy bullshit, one minute we're together and the next minute we're not, it's not going to do anything but cause them to continue to go down a downward spiral, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey, but you know, I'm going to be tuned in next Monday, bitch, okay, to see what happens next damn week. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Lyrica Anderson, A1 Bentley, and Summer Bunny, um, basically, you know, fucking her husband and, you know, admitting it to Lyrica and then having the nerve to be mad and, and, and defensive when Lyrica does not embrace her with open arms. You know, so this entire situation is crazy. It's a hot damn mess, but you know what? <laughs> I'm here for it, bitch. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, deuces.